Go. Hi, Christian. How are you? Hi, Becky. Pretty good. So I hear that there are some very exciting things that have come out with OWA for Exchange Server 2010. What are some of those things? Definitely. There's a long list. I hope I won't forget any here. But the big first thing I want to mention is that Out of Web Access Premium now works in Safari and Firefox, oh, as well nice. as in Internet Explorer. So it should be very welcome to a lot of users who you know, want to try different platforms. Uh, other features that are added to all are shared calendaring. Uh, delegate access is something people have been asking us for for a long time. Uh, an awesome conversation view. Just oh, fantastic. Nice. Yeah, it's, uh, we've had conversation view in the past in Outlook and in Outlook Web Access, but it's been an option and kind of geeky users have switched it on. But now it's on by default and it's just a much better experience than any conversation view that we or anybody I know of has ever built. So uh, why would I use the OA conversation view instead of just using what comes out of Outlook? How do you mean what comes well, out of so Outlook? Well, Outlook, so uh, Outlook 2010 or Outlook 14, is, I know that they've done a bunch of work in their conversations view. What is what is some of the um, benefits of the OA conversations view? So I don't, I don't think you would choose to use OWA instead of Outlook in different scenarios than you have in the past. Mm -hmm. It's still Outlook is the offline client that you install and OWA is the client that you can use you know, anywhere at any time. Uh, but uh, both of them have, the reason you want to use conversation view in both of them is that it lets you triage and deal with the mail that comes into your inbox by conversation. So it's, if you look at the messages just message by message, you have to have this mental model of which messages belong to one another. And you end up triaging the same conversation over and over again because you see it for every individual message. So you have to, you know, if there's a long conversation with 20 messages in it and you don't really care about this conversation, you end up seeing it, reading it, making a decision about it and hitting delete for it 20 times. Whereas with conversation view, you see it, you read it once, you delete it once, and it's gone. And it's even better than that. You can say, ignore a conversation, which means it not only deletes what you already have in your inbox, but any future message that comes into that conversation will also get automatically deleted. Very nice. So it's really about efficiency in dealing with information overload. That's what conversation view helps with enormously. And, and it's, we know that everybody's suffering from information oh, overload definitely. these days. And yeah. it's even, it, it's really cool in Outlook Web Access and in Outlook, but on the mobile device, Very nice. in Outlook Mobile as an example, future versions, and in any other Exchange Active Sync licensee that implements the Exchange Active Sync uh, version 2010 <laughs> protocol, they can also give a similar conversation view experience and on a mobile device where you only see four or five maybe ten messages items at a time being able to see conversations and take action on conversations rather than dealing with individual messages is it completely changes how you do triage on the phone now you can do vacation triage you know you're gone for a week you come back you have 800 under the messages in the past it was impossible to triage that on the phone but now you sit on the plane and you, know, you can deal with 700 of them. So when you actually arrive in the office on Monday morning, you only have 100 left. Nice, it's, very nice. It's awesome. Some other things that I want to bring up you know, yeah, to the big please. question of what's new in OWA. Um, we have IM integration. Yeah. So you're not going to get presence. So you can receive chat, chats and start chats from within the UI. That's integrated with Office Communication Server. Um, also, mail tips is a feature I want to call out. This is a feature which warns you about things as you compose messages. Oh, so it nice. will warn you if one of the recipients is out of office or if one of the recipients is not part of your organization but it's external. And you might want to know that before you reveal something secret or uh, on the thread. It also warns you if you have a really big distribution list. Say there, there's a distribution list there that you, you, know, you haven't seen before but it happens to have 15,000 people on it. You may want to know that before you try to crack some funny joke. Uh, or hit send. That, or, yeah, <laughs> definitely before you hit send. Yes, yes. So mail tips helps you with all these scenarios. Uh, helps you avoid embarrassment, embarrassment and uh, maybe you know, think twice before, before hitting that send button sometimes. Very uh, cool. Getting warned about out of office is also really helpful because frequently that means you know, when you see that the person you're sending the email to is out of office, you want to send it to somebody else. Right? So it, prevents that whole loop of sending the message, getting the output of us back,
sending the message again. To great efficiency. That's great efficiency. Yeah. It's all about reducing information overload. Nice. Um, I'm also going to mention the last one in this long list that I can think of right now is IRM, Information Rights Management, okay. supporting out of web access. So in the past, it's been possible to read IRM email in out of web access, but you had to install a, a special component on Windows, actually two components, and then you have to configure this component, and most users just don't get it wrong. Actually, I myself have gotten it wrong in the past, um, and I should know how this thing works. Mm -hmm. So it's very complicated to get IRM to work. With the change 2010, IRM email that you get in your inbox are decrypted on the server, and then out of web access just enforces the rules for the content like it blocks you from forwarding this content and such Very so it nice. always works without any kind of install well and i know that personally we get those occasionally and i'm at home and i, I can't look at it yeah so See, there you and go. i have to wait till i get into the office so that's really yeah. nice now, now you will be able to read them excellent yeah, I hear about some of those cool things going on in the exchange team that we don't get uh, very often, but we get from our VP every once in a while. You want to know those right away, so that's awesome. Um, okay, great. Is there anything else about OA that we should all know about? Um, or uh, do you want to go, and we have another topic we'd like to talk about. Uh, are yeah, you ready there, there are that? many more things, you know, you know, there's archiving support for archiving story in Exchange 2010, and you know, there's a myriad of features, but. But there'll be good content to see that in other places. Well, we're very excited yeah. to see it.